Our mission at Sci-Fi is to build city-wide fibre optic networks reaching every single home, every single business in a city. What we do that's a little bit different, because we're not an end service provider, we wholesale out access to multiple other service providers, is to also build that infrastructure so that it is a true fibre city. By giving everyone access to high speed internet, removing the digital divide through subsidies, providing competitive options, you improve education, you drive job opportunities and you give a city the tools that it needs to thrive in a digital age. Having a fiber city means that we're going to create a fiber passing by each and every home within the city boundaries, by each and every business, by each and every multifamily property, by each and every homeowners association. Having a fiber city is amazing because you can truly implement a dig once sort of policy. Knowing that you have fiber in the ground helps to close all of the last mile costs, makes bringing in additional services, even future technologies, much more affordable to make a city much more competitive. Having the unique opportunity to have a private public partnership is huge for the city with limited resources. And for other cities who are able to do all of this on their own, it's great, but this was the only way Placentia would have been able to do it, was partnering with a partner like Sci-Fi, a partner with Fiber City. So going into the future, it's, it's huge to be able to be one of the cutting edge cities to provide this for the residents, but also to be future proofing our city. Having the fiber optic infrastructure in the city is huge because we'll always need it for connectivity. While the technology might change of how we communicate, we'll always need that fiber in order to get information back and forth. And whether it's internet, whether it's 5G, cell phone connectivity, or smart city grid, we're always going to be able to use and expand upon this fiber optic network. I think oftentimes people took maybe the internet speeds that they had and they just sort of accepted what they were given by the current provider. But as life became more compact during the, the pandemic and more people working from home or, or doing school from home or whatever that situation was, they realized that having a, a less than optimal connection really impacted their lives, sometimes in a negative way, losing a connection to class or losing an important connection to a work meeting. Whatever that was, they realized that they needed something significantly better. The negative impacts of the pandemic are plentiful, but one of the ones that it exposed was the digital divide between those that have bountiful access to internet and those that do not. Uh, the sci-fi fiber city model allows all of us equitably to have access to plentiful internet, high-speed internet, it's now become a quality of life issue. So I'm proud of our city that we've taken on this initiative. Another part of obviously being a fiber city allows you as a consumer to actually choose who you would like to have as your provider. Whereas usually if you're stuck on one particular provider, it can cost you a lot of money and it's sort of unfair. So it actually gives us a little bit more of a fair playing ground, I feel. There is a remarkable difference between cable internet that everybody is traditionally used to, and that's provided by high-speed internet. Not only from functionality perspective and speed and the breadth of the technology that's involved, but also from a uh, impact in terms of usage. And I'm really excited for Fullertonians to be able to experience this difference. It'll aid not only in their schoolwork and in the, uh, their remote working environment, but also those businesses that are here in Fullerton will have access to high-speed internet and that will assist in their business patterns as well. As we see more fiber cities be, become adopted across the, across the US, eventually the majority of the US should be in yeah, fiber city structures. Being able to bring in a subsidized product that actually connects the, the, the more disadvantaged segments of a, of a community and enables them to get the same access as the rest of the community, that's going to really drive the closing of the digital divide. Sci-Fi Networks, funding, building and operating open access fiber networks across the U.S. and closing the digital divide. To learn more, visit scifinetworks.com.